Yeah, for sure. I think that's something that uh, when you're playing in the national team is kind of always on your mind. Um, you know, the, the squad's very competitive. We've got a lot of good players, so um, cutting it down to 18 for Ante's can be pretty difficult. Um, but yeah, as a player, you're just trying to you know get as many minutes as you can and then perform the best that you can because you want to be going to the Olympics. Yeah, I think it's been really good. I've obviously played at Melbourne City for a fair few years, but um, we've never had this many Matildas in the squad. And um, yeah, I think the way that we play in Melbourne definitely translates into the national team and vice versa. Um, you know, you're, you're playing next to and around the players that you're playing with full time, and that really helps with chemistry and relationships and understanding each other. Um, and I think you know we've been playing well in Melbourne, so you get a confidence from that and. Um, as we said with Emily, you can see that she's translating that into the national team, which is sometimes really hard to do. So, um, yeah, it's been a fun season there and um, you know, hopefully we can bring that into the national team. Yeah, um, I think obviously with time uh, comes more understanding. So we've been um, together longer and under Ante longer. Um, so I think that just helps uh, playing together more and uh, getting regular game time. So I think together we're clicking a bit better and everything's just a little sharper and um, sort of our, our tactics and knowledge and everything's sort of you know, coming together more for sure. Yeah, it's definitely exciting. I think you know uh, most of our players are sort of starting to come into some really, really good form, which um, you know a few were happening around the World Cup, but I just feel like we're, we're at a different level now and we're really ready to step it up and sort of show the world what we can do when we get to the Olympics.